Okay. Now from now on, so I will take the management. We are now recording. Okay. Is everyone here from uh, Amnon? Uh, Florin, is everyone here from your side of the conversation? Yes, I think that from every school there are at least one person. This is good, and we can start. Okay. Maybe, maybe it will be somebody. I don't remember because there were some requests to connect during the after we start the the meeting because they are not available at six o'clock. Maybe six uh, okay. and ten minutes will be somebody connected, but we are ready. No problem. I'll see if they're uh, admitting to the conversation. It's better for our conversation to have the the uh, mute used to mute uh, system yeah. because the sound is better in the if the the yeah, microphone are mute. close. No, we will mute in a minute. Okay. From uh, now on, I'll mute everyone and just the the person that I uh, address to will answer me so that we can have a, a proper conversation. So I mute you all. And you will be able to unmute yourself later. So, uh, Amnon, um, now we will um, introduce ourselves for our side and then from the Romanian side. Uh, some greetings and then we'll start. So, Amnon, please uh, introduce yourself. Okay, so uh, I will uh, introduce the people from Hightech, but we really want to hear more about our guests. So myself, I'm Amnon Sheffi, I'm the founder of Hightech and uh, of the program. Uh, I come with the background of uh, engineering and in the last 20 years in the area of education, doing STEM and uh, doing advanced education uh, and part of it based on water. Uh, we will try to speak very slow in English so that you understand, but if we speak too quickly or not clear enough, please raise your hand or write us a note in the chat so that we will repeat and we will be more clear. And we also have Hen here with us. Hen, please wave hello to everybody. Hen is our chief uh, coach and she is, she is a water engineer uh, from the Technion and she has been with us for a number of years uh, and uh, now is uh, studying for a master's on water and serves as a, as a chief coach for the entire program. And we have Malkiel who is hosting the program. Malkiel is almost uh, a doctor now, a medical doctor. He is completing his medical training, but he has been working with us for a number of years as a chief coach and is very experienced. And he will be the coordinator for the program. Also on our side, we have Avner Fuchs, PDG Avner Fuchs, who just joined us. Uh, Malki, you want to uh, open up the uh, speaker for Avner, so Avner will say a few yes. leading words. Uh, and Hello, we Avner. Uh, um, Avner, are you with us? Yeah. Good evening. Great. So you can speak. Can I speak? Okay. Good evening. Um, I don't know if to talk in uh, Romanian or in English, for me the same, but uh, um, I want to say that uh, it's, I'm proud to, to be in this uh, meeting and to represent also the Rotary International, that I am there uh, a member of the uh, Committee of Water, International Committee of Water, uh, and uh, we are making a lot of uh, activities all over the world. The reason that uh, we are very active uh, uh, is that uh, the situation of Rotary all over the world is become more and more worse. And sometimes we are asking ourselves where we are going, what, uh, what will be more few years. And uh, the, uh, the, the answer is, uh, we are trying to do as we uh, think, and we want to use also the new generation to help us to first to recognize the situation and the, the other things to try to uh, find solution with us. This is the reason that we started in this uh, very uh, uh, successful um, program 
in Israel and uh, from few uh, years we are also sharing also the cooperation of uh, other districts district in the world. Uh, Rotary has, uh, um, let's say, 530 districts all over the world. One is in Romania, a big one, and uh, the other is, is in Israel. And we, are, we have a good connection with a lot of uh, districts all over the world. And we have also, except Romania, we have Hungary, we have Poland, we have uh, uh, Croatia, and so and so. And what we are, what we, our purpose is to try and to involve the new generation with the schools and with good teachers as you uh, to, to have a, a, a lot of uh, a, a solution, good solution. What I can say, I know very well Florin. Florin is my, my friend. And I have also another friend in Romania because my parents, they were uh, born there in, in Romania. And I know also the, uh, the language because my wife, she's also from Romania. She's a physician. We, we need to proceed because we have a lot of people that- Okay, so what I, want, what I want to say that uh, I'm sure that uh, uh, it will be very successful project in Romania because Florin is a very serious man and uh, we, we have uh, meetings also here in Israel and Romania, and uh, we, we get all, all the, the, the um, let's say, the privilege to him uh, to help us to, to succeed. So I send you all the best, and uh, I shall be in contact. Thank you. Thank you very much, Avner, for your welcome. Uh, we have one more. Thank you, Avner. And now Amnon uh, will uh, present two more uh, coaches from our side. Amnon, 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 please, please interrupt only when I uh, address you, okay? Because it will be hard. We need, we need to continue in, to introduce uh, the people. So we have Dvir here in the background that you see. Dvir is with us. He's one of our coaches, uh, expert on STEM. And we also have Adilak. With this. So you have the entire teaching uh, team from High Teach. But additionally, we have Nathan Feldman. Nathan Feldman is the program uh, director from the Haifa Host Club. Uh, welcome, Nathan. Please say a few words, and then we will switch over to our guests. Thank you, Amnon. Uh, good evening, uh, all of you. Uh, it's uh, our uh, honor to uh, participate in such a nice, uh, innovative uh, training uh, kickoff meeting. Uh, this uh, show uh, the strengths of the relationship uh, the district, uh, Rotary district has uh, from Israel and Romania. And we are happy to participate on uh, this event. Um, the Rotary is the main uh, supportive for uh, high teach activities. And uh, in a close relationship, we chose uh, this uh, year to uh, elaborate the, this program, which called Rotary Hands Across Water, and to make uh, more collaboration among uh, people around the world, uh, containing uh, schools twinning program, enable uh, cross culture based on science and uh, education, uh, supporting uh, the youth uh, students. Uh, the collaboration uh, actually based on uh, the Rotary uh, Worldwide uh, Foundation that supporting us as well. And as said by uh, Avner before, it's a collaboration of many Rotary clubs and several districts. The main uh, activity is uh, by the Rotary Club Haifa that is hosting the, the program together with uh, our partner, Rotary Club Coral Springs from Florida. And uh, the district, Israel, is very supportive and collaborate support of 20 different uh, clubs from Israel. In addition, we have uh, others, several uh, three districts and 15 different clubs from several countries uh, which I uh, may, can mention the USA, uh, Canada, Poland, Romania, Kosovo, Greece, Albania, uh, India. 
and uh, hopefully more will come uh, in for uh, this uh, challenge uh, program. The aim of the program is actually to uh, create or promote awareness among uh, youth, focusing on global and also local water and sanitation challenges and advance new solutions. We would like uh, to focus on solution. We know that uh, water and sanitation become a critical topic around the world, and uh, this is a common issue and challenge around the world. And uh, the water, which is uh, active globally, can find here a, a, a topic to support uh, globally. We would like to congratulate all of you choosing this uh, specific program and wishing you inter interesting journey exploring the advantage of the program and participate the students with challenges and solutions of water and sanitation. The youth students will build knowledge and experience that will have positive impact once they will become matures, taking more responsibilities and decision in the future. We are building actually a long-term journey. Uh, we wish you success and good luck and also uh, collaboration between the countries and the population from Romania and Israel. Thank you and good luck. Thank you, thank very, you much, very much, Nathan. Uh, Nathan, thank you very much. Uh, Malki, uh, let's proceed. Yes, okay, uh, Florian, so now we only have a few minutes. Uh, a few words on every one of the participants. Every teacher to introduce himself in two words, not very long, because we have to proceed and uh, begin the, the training. So your side, Florian. Okay, uh, first of all, I am very happy and glad to be together in this large group of participants to the first uh, session training, teachers uh, session training. And I want to thanks very much to my friend Avner for the invitation to take part in a such of important program, Global Grant, uh, which share the Israeli professional experience in water, combined uh, with uh, water education, which is missing several times in many countries. Of course, in Romania, we have a lot of missing regarding this uh, aspect. I know, I know professional experience uh, from Israel. I am involved in the water sector, in the water infrastructure from 40 years ago as my basic profession. And um, now as a senior expert or for, for a Rotary project, which I coordinate to the district level. Um, I am very happy that uh, three clubs and four schools from Romania have expressed interest to be part, to be included in a such of global grant, in a such of program. And I want also to thanks to Amnon for his team and his uh, uh, great job done until now. And I'm really uh, sure that the next two, three years during the, the program will be in progress, will be a successful project for everybody. So let's start to as a Romanian presentation, the teachers, uh, uh, let's say first of all, the schools from Turgujiu because it was the first uh, Rotary Club which was included in the uh, within this uh, program. Uh, Great. Just keep it short. So begin. Yes. Turgujiu. Okay. I am uh, Mihaela Runcianu. I am from Turgujiu. I'm a computer science teacher and also a deputy headmaster at my school. Uh, also, I'm a member of uh, Rotary Club from uh, Turgujiu, and I'm very happy to be part of this project. Manuela? Uh, hello, my name is Manuela Radu, and I am biology teacher at the National College Tudor Vladimirescu. My colleague, uh, Pircala Boalina, 
will also participate in the training who will join at the end of the school program. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next school. Uh, from uh, Tergojir, that's all? Yes. Orada, the next club from Romania, Orada. Please introduce the, the, the teachers from Oradea, introduce yourself in a short Good presentation. Good afternoon. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Uh, my name is Anka Mille. I am an English teacher at Collegio Nazionale Emanuel Gosdo in Oradea. I'm also a vice principal at the school. And we are very happy and we welcome the topic of the uh, project which we already started uh, developing throughout these uh, months. Thank you, Liana. Thank you very much. Thank you. My colleague is here as well, mm -hmm. but I don't know why she can't connect. Liana, Liana and Emilia. Right? Liana and Emilia, yes. Okay, please proceed. Hi, everybody. My name is uh, Liana Bako. I am a biology teacher uh, of uh, College National in Oradea. And um, I am a college with Anka and uh, my friend Emilia Pantia uh, from this uh, project. Thank you very much. Emilia? Sorry, but I have a problem with internet connection and uh, I will try to talk a little bit, but I hope well. We can uh, hear you very well. I am Emilia Pantia, uh, teach at the University of Oradia, Faculty of uh, Environmental Protection. Uh, I teach water and wastewater treatment and green chemistry. My uh, PhD thesis is uh, biogas from food waste water. I uh, am at the same time a member of Rotary Art Nouveau Oradia. I am very glad to meet you. Thank you very much. So the next school we have, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, Yash, we have Yash, Malkel. What I want to, to say to everybody, I have asked it to all the schools to have a group or two or three teachers from different specialities, understanding English as well, to cover all the aspects of the water education and to be available to attend our meetings because sometimes there are some persons which are not available when we, we put, uh, we program the, the, the meetings. For this reason, we have two or three and they will work together for the benefit of the school and for the children and for the, of the project. So the next one and the last one, it's the Rotary Club, uh, Yash Kurta Domnaska, uh, and the school is EuroEd School. Please introduce yourself. Anka. Hello, everybody. I have a double position here in this project. I represent the Rotary Club, uh, my club, which is called Rotary Kurta Domnaska from this uh, city, which is the biggest city in the European Union on the furthest eastern side of the European Union. Um, and uh, I also represent the school that has joined the project. Uh, as all the schools here in Romania, we are very familiar with international projects, but it is a, a, a Rotary Club project, which is somehow different. So we look forward to uh, the way in which we are going to promote education and uh, sanitation and uh, water preservation in our own environments. So thank you very much for the invitation. And I, if you allow, I'll uh, give the floor now to my colleague, uh, uh, Andrea Ionel uh, from Euroed, 
who is the uh, coordinator of the projects department in our school. Thank you very much and good luck to all of us. Thank you. Hello, hi, my, uh, as uh, Anka introduced me, my name is Andrea Ionel. I'm not a teacher, but I'm working in the, in the Euroed school in the project, international project department. So I thought that it's good for me having experience in projects to support the teachers uh, who are going to be involved in, uh, in this uh, project, to support them and maybe to create a connection with the other projects we, we have at this moment on, the, uh, on this, uh, this topic. Um, I'm happy to be here and good luck with, uh, with everything. I give the floor now to our colleague, uh, Gabriela. Thank you very Good much. Evening. Just a question, Andrea. You are not from the school. You are co coordinating the inter international projects. I am. I am from the school, but the schools, the school also have a department for the for the, the implementation of European projects. So I'm not a teacher, okay. but I'm working as a project coordinator. Thank you very much. Good Who was evening. the next one? Okay. Me. Good evening. My name is uh, Gabriela Pascal. I'm a biology teacher at my school, and it's a privilege uh, to participate in any science training. I am uh, excited to explore also this project. Thank you very much, Gabriela. There is Good anyone luck. else? I mean, Florin, there is anyone else? Yes, Car Carmen. Carmen Brunzilla. Uh, hello, everybody. I am um, Carmen Branz Branzilla. Uh, it's easy for you. Uh, from Eroyed, I am a chemistry teacher, and I'm very excited to participate to this project uh, to um, learn um, how to learn children about water treatments. Thank you for inviting me. Carmen, just a question. Thank you very much, yes. first of all. Uh, from which school are you? The same one? Call it. Okay, exactly. Thank you. Uh, they have asked me to introduce uh, this lady today and I will forward to the, the contact data uh, uh, for Carmen in the, in the next time. Malkin. Okay, thank you. I think we have two people not here in the conversation but in the, the list you gave me. George Alexa, she will be joining us. He's not available. Okay. Okay, so that's it for, from your end? Yeah. Thank you very much. So Anna, now you will uh, present us all the details about the program. And do you okay. want to? Thank you, Maki. And what I will do, I will share the screen. But before that, I want to thank you all for the wonderful way you presented uh, yourself. I think we have a lovely opportunity here and we will go over the, <coughs> the principles of the program and the way we lay it out <coughs> because the key people in the program of course are yourself, the teachers and the returns supporting uh, and uh, you will guide the program, we will show you how and show you how we do it but really you are at the center of the program so we will start by sharing the screen and showing you a presentation that reviews the entire situation and then we will go into a detailed outline step by step of the 12 steps that we hope to be able to conduct in this year and we will then show you a database of presentations that we have prepared for the course so that you will be able to use them. So without further ado uh, I will uh, uh, share the uh, host, Mikey, you want to turn me in to, to allow me to... You can share, I, I'll just... Oh, you uh, can share now. Uh, no, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I, I can share, Mikey, now. So, um, you may, here, make, uh, here, now you can share, excuse me. All right, let's do it. Okay. All right, so here we are. Uh, do you see the presentation? Is it uh, on the screen now? Yes. Okay, very good. So we'll go quickly through it. You will have the presentation, so you don't have to worry about uh, recording everything down. It's in the batch. So we are tweeting side by side schools in Romania and in Israel. We are doing what the PRI, Barry Rasin, the president of Order International last year, suggested. 
please take this program to the world. So this is what we're doing. Uh, basically, we to put it, put the presentation on presentation mode so we can see it big. Okay, hold on a minute. And don't forget to speak slowly. Okay, do you see it better now? Yes, thank you. Okay, so we're going together, as we said, and you see Barry Rassin here in two schools in, in East Jerusalem. And that's when he said to us, please take it to the world. So what do we do? We want to launch a collaboration of schools around the world. The idea is that the situation in Romania is different than it is in Israel. So you do not need to study the situation in Israel. We will provide you some hints on how it is done in Israel as an example. But you really want to study the situation in Romania. So this is what we will show you. And we intend together to promote the awareness. We don't know that we can really make the students future scientists right away because of our program. It's a bit of a challenge. But if we teach them physics, or biology, and we make them aware of the challenge and of the fact that there are solutions, then we will be okay. So that is what we intend to do. We do not intend to really tomorrow expect them to uh, produce solutions. The idea of the project is to make them aware, to make them realize that there is a challenge and that there are solutions, and to teach them basic science with this in mind. This is our goal. And uh, in order to do that, we have the program itself, uh, which is nicely uh, named, the Rotary Hands Across Water, is STEM education with science, technology, engineering, art, and math, which you all know. It is based on water and sanitation, but we try to make it relevant to the curricula. This is very important. So when you bring it to school, it is not extracurricular, it doesn't waste time, but it teaches physics as in the curricula, or biology, or mathematics, or computer science. And this will be up to you, and we will help you to see the bonding, the connection to the curricula. So it does not become extra hours and so forth, and you have justification to do it and work. Of course, it is very modern, so we do research, project-based learning, and reverse engineering, we are trying to understand how machines work, and it is very futuristic. We are working uh, about the situation, the way it will develop. And if we see that there is a problem emerging, we are looking into the future where the children will have to realize that the problem is big unless they do something now. And of course, the fact that it is cross-cultural, you see, because we work together. But we bring the children to a desalination facilities and to a reclamation of wastewater. And we will show you how we do this today during the Corona period, even in a virtual manner, using advanced uh, picturing uh, and camera technology. So in 360 degrees, they can look around and they can feel that they're actually visiting. We developed this for our activity in Israel, but you will benefit because we can take you with us to visit our facilities. And we also bring them, of course, to the laboratories, to the academia, and I'm glad to see that you have academia joining. Uh, the program is very big. We've run over 15,000 students, more than 100 schools. We had um, Rotary International recognition, uh, and you know, it's established, so this you know by now. Uh, and uh, in the movie, you will be able to see how the program conducts uh, we will show uh, just uh, glimpses here and there uh, from, the, uh, from the movie. Uh, we don't have to see it all, but just to give you a feel, it's available and you can see it in the, uh, in the uh, uh, presentation. And so we show you how students walk around the country, how they do projects, how they play around with old ancient technology and build it from scratch now. Uh, and uh, using models, do experimentation, and go to the facilities. Here they are in a facility making valves. Uh, and they do a lot of farming and do a rain harvesting for the farming. Here you see the collection and measure the size. This is an ancient well, and so you can, and this is a more modern world, and now they see ultra-modern wells. So they see the development of the history, 
anywhere our contributors visiting. And uh, so we will stop here. Uh, the idea is that uh, this is uh, really a very um, uh, informative uh, in terms of the uh, presentation. Uh, let me go back to this. So this you can see in your own time and there is another uh, uh, podcast describing the program. So this page is in the presentation which you have and you can watch it. Now, what we are going to provide you with is training like we're doing now, some ideas on STEM when you select the subject and we can work with you over the phone or over the internet. Uh, and of course, there is a lot of e-learning material that we will support you with Zoom and the presentations. Uh, and uh, usually we do uh, visits to the schools. Now, of course, we have to do it over the uh, internet. Uh, and we recommend that you go on outdoor visits. Now, this depends on the situation and on the corona, but we will encourage you to go to a water pumping situation, a water reclamation wastewater facility, and what have you next to where the school is. So you see things in reality, but this is not just a visit, it's a visit on science. So we have to coordinate it before, also worry about the safety. So we will do a lot of that. And then once you go through this and start to do a project, then we will do the teaming. We intend to make teaming with schools in Israel when you are ready. In other words, when you have something to say already about the situation in Romania and the solutions and so forth, so that you have something to share with schools in Israel that will share with you what they did. And the collaboration now with English teachers as we have will be lovely. This is the idea. So we want to build you up to where you have some product uh, before we start the training. Of course, we will connect between the teachers first so you know them. And every school will have a twinning school. Uh, and of course, we will guide and help you to connect to the local industry. The question of awareness is very critical. As you heard, everybody talks about the seriousness of the situation. And it requires a lot of money to correct. And that's what we're trying to promote, that the money will fund if the public is aware of the situation. Um, the, the goals of the twinning program is to uh, provide science education, the awareness, and to, the, to, to show that there are possible solutions from rain harvesting to advanced uh, systems. In the process, uh, we're doing what we're doing now. We want together with you to identify local areas with each and every one of you. Uh, what are the focus areas that are interesting so that around that we can do the study and then we will do some background study on the general program, help you develop a STEM pro project like we, it's pumping or other experimentation that you, you can do in class and, and then do the connection. Uh, just to give you an example the, which we prepared uh, on physics, chemistry, biology and so forth, what are the different systems and what you can learn uh, from reclamation, from wastewater, from smart irrigation, from leakage prevention and water resource management. All of these are subjects that we address. But if you look at water reclamation, it relates to physics, it relates to physics, to biology and so forth. So you can look at this table, but of course biology is a good example. Wastewater is done biologically by bacteria consuming the surplus and the uh, organic matter. So there's a whole course on this organic matter consumption that you can really do. And it's a wonderful example of uh, expansion, uh, exponential growth, uh, and the entire cycle, use of oxygen and what have you. And each of the cubicle like this is a connection between uh, science and something that happens in reality in uh, the in, uh, water world. And from this, you can select a subject that is relevant to your area where you have friends with a wastewater uh, for reclamation facility or a pumping facility. So you can make it relevant on one hand to the curricula and on the other hand to what you have around you. And we will support you how to turn this into a STEM. On the water crisis of the world, I don't want to spend too much time now because you know it, you know that it's critical, you can look. Uh, you know, the problem is that we are really uh, very seriously short of water and there are more people with cell phones than with access to water. 
a terrible situation. Uh, and so we have uh, a lot of people that die because of lack of water. And uh, you know, 50% of the tap water in America is with health violations. So it's it's grave situation. And we waste a lot of water. As you can see, you know, producing one uh, liter of a steak uh, requires 15 cubic meter of water, all the food for the cow and all that. So we are very wasteful if we eat meat like this. And it shows up then in the carbon footprint and in water. So that's something we need to explain to the children. And we in Israel, located on the verge of the desert, have experienced this for many years and actually decades in our ancient history. So it's in our culture. So this is why we are there. We have the high tech to support it, so we know. But people in Europe, you know, it's very green, a lot of water. So for many years, there was no problem, but there is a problem now in Europe as well, as you know. So everybody has to become aware. So uh, this is what we do to address it. And this is one slide of everything we do in Israel. We do four technologies and we will have a presentation and show you what we do in each and every one of them. First of all, we reclaim wastewater. We do not waste it. We take the wastewater and we reclaim and treat it and use it again for agriculture. A very big number, all the water that we drink at home or rather use for toilet and so forth, goes to the reclamation and we use it twice. The other source is the fact that all this water comes from desalination. So this is a huge extra uh, usage. So we desalinate about six or 700 million cubic uh, uh, meters every year. This is what supplies our homes, and then we reuse it for our, our reclamation. This is why we do not have a problem. So we invested in this infrastructure, and now it is balanced. We're building uh, another plant right now. Also, once we use it for irrigation, we do it with effective means, like with dripper irrigation. So we don't waste it in the irrigation. So right there, you see major means. And then, of course, Water is lost everywhere, and especially in urban city and systems, sometimes 20, 30, maybe 40% of the water is lost. So we do a lot of work on leak prevention, technologies to detect leakage and to correct it. Now, these four technologies are the main things that we do, but in order to implement them, we put in a system of management of the water system based on local water utilities and a national system. So this is the broad application and the proper management. So these are the techniques that we use together to manage the water system. And as a result, the situation is very good. You cannot solve the problem only with desalination, like with the membranes that you see here, or only with reclamation, or only with smart irrigation. It is not enough. Only when you do all of it, and you manage it properly, and also you think of the future. It changes, it's not one-time solution. So this is what makes the combination, and this we want you to see, because Israel really, in, a, in this way, is an example, so you can compare it to what you have in your city and rely on it. In order uh, to provide you some reference, there is a wonderful book called Let There Be Water, which you can buy, uh, you can buy it on Amazon, it's very available and, and very convenient uh, to read. And uh, this book tells you about the situation in Israel, what I've just shown. But it's very handy and you can use chapters from this for your students, especially if you have English teachers. We also work in uh, Arabic, and this is where we want to give you the first assignment. The presentations that we will show you today uh, are in English. We have prepared a presentation on desalination and water reclamation and so forth. But in order for you to use it, you can translate it to Romanian. So right away, you have a challenge to read, to understand, to translate to Romanian, have someone like Florine review it and make sure that it is done correctly. And you can prepare those presentations in Romanian. We will store them for you in the database and you can use them with your students. So this is assignment number one that you can start right away. Uh, and we will then show you some basic research on how to do it, even simple research that you can do at home, like the, the, the value of uh, aerators, you know, water uh, uh, reduction of usage at home 
on the tap. So you have simple devices like this. How effective are they? If you remove it, how much water do you use? A very simple experiment. Everyone can do it at home. And then you do the statistics of comparison and so forth. Or you can do a research on the water con, uh, con, uh, consumption at home, which most of it goes to. Okay. Uh, all right. So we will proceed. Uh, uh, this just shows you uh, how we uh, work on desalination. And this will bring us to uh, the next slide of how do we do uh, virtual visits. So um, what you see here is a, movie, a short movie uh, that uh, you will see how uh, we take you into a desalination facility and you can see around. So it starts with an introduction, which is less important now. But now we are starting to walk in the facility. But the important thing is that the children can look around. You see, I'm moving it with my finger, with, my, with the mouse. And if they have a, a cell phone, if they move the cell phone, they can move around so they feel they are inside. Then, of course, as we proceed, you will see all the facility, uh, the, the water filtration. As you enter the facility, you can look up, you can look down, you can really see a fascinating view. This is the scent filters uh, of the water as they come in to protect uh, the, uh, um, the big uh, membrane hole. And then you go into huge pumps. And again, the children can look around. You see, you can see everything around you. So they look as if they are with us in the facility uh, and, and see how the filtration works. In a minute, you will see the huge membrane how a building, and you see here huge pumps, high pressure pump, and tremendous amount of energy. And as we proceed, we go into the membrane hole, 45,000 membranes, how they work, where the water comes from, what is the principle, and so forth. And we will stop here. You will be able to see this uh, later on uh, by yourself. So you see, this is a 360 degree slide and so forth. And we want to move over now to the next, uh, so this is a, a, a movie about, a, a slide about desalination, which we will show you in detail, and the new supply system in Israel, and how we bring teachers to this facility. I want to emphasize here one thing. This is a reclamation facility, and the children come, they see the bacteria in a microscope and have a big adventure. But they are looking at the sand uh, and the soil and how to um, rinse in the soil after you use uh, irrigation with the wastewater so that they look to the future. If there's a problem, how to fix the problem. And even a simple a water supply tower, you know, is a, 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 a place for experimentation, how you pump water and so forth, or if you make it more sophisticated with sophisticated valves. Even ancient pumps, like I know you have some facilities, can be a basis for STEM studies. And I think uh, you, you get the idea. Uh, we will show you some test equipment that you can use, which is easy. And then we will have the graduation event that we can also have uh, over Zoom. Uh, some of the projects are easy to do. You can do it with uh, Lego. Uh, and uh, then you produce a report. When you produce a report like this with a poster in English, then you can exchange and, and work with others. So this is the basic idea. And we can compare Israel to Miami, or Israel to Lodz, or Israel to Romania, or whatever. Uh, and that's what we will do at the end. Now, I want to move over uh, to uh, 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 the outline of the step-by-step -step process that we want to do. Um, uh, and we will allow you time for questions uh, 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 later on. Uh, let me uh, open up this uh, document here. and. Uh, uh, do you see it now? Uh, is it on the screen? Yeah, the, we can see everything. You can see. Okay. So you have this document and it outlines the whole program. I'm not going to go over all of it now. Only one thing that is important. We started out that you can study the material and translate it. And then what we want to do is we have uh, a 12 step process. You have this entire document, so you don't need me to read it to you, but uh, there are those 12 steps in the process that we want uh, you to 
uh, go through. Uh, first of all, we are now applying the global grant and that will get going. So this is uh, what we've done that. Now we have uh, the, the entire process of hands across water being launched. And so this is why we're now starting to work with you. Uh, and uh, you have nicely transferred the donation from all the Rotary clubs in Romania and from the world as well. So this is nice. Too. Now, we are now having identified the Rotary clubs and the school and the interaction of the Rotary clubs and the schools is very important because I see you have some Rotarian with PhD degrees and experts in, in biology and in water. So this is lovely. So Rotarians can support with connection to the industry, with lecture, with knowledge that they have themselves. You will find that these Rotarians that are knowledgeable are of extreme value when you try to connect the education to real life, to a water reclamation facility or to a water supply system. Uh, and then when we have them on board, now uh, we are uh, uh, starting the virtual training of the teachers, which is what we're doing now. So this is this step five. Now, after we do this, we want each and every uh, teacher to focus on two things. Number one, review the presentations that we have presented, uh, uh, that we have pre prepared for you. Uh, Malkiel, do you want to uh, share the website with the presentation so they can see, the teacher can see where it is? We will send you a link to uh, a Google Drive where the presentations are hosted. And there are a number of presentations, part one, part two, and so forth. You can go over them and study them. Do you want to uh, share it now, Malki? Yes, I will share it just a moment. Okay, can you see uh, the screen? I, I need to stop sharing, I think. So now you can share. Okay, good. So, uh, um, okay, Malki, maybe you sort it can out. You it? One, oh, it goes from bottom. That's okay, good. Yes. Okay, so you see we have presentations that we've laid out in a Google Drive and you will have a connection, you will be part of, and you will have the link. And uh, it starts with uh, a general description of the water crisis. Uh, and uh, it has a, a, an example of a water crisis in Florida, which is somewhat different. Uh, and then it gives you a, an example of the, uh, the, uh, um, the, the wastewater treatment which is the major thing that we do. So you see the entire thing and you can open the presentation and you see the principles and the scientific principles behind it and so forth. But the idea is that you have all of them. Now, the idea is the following. Uh, the key features, wastewater treatment, desalination, leakage prevention, and smart irrigation, these are the main technologies. These are the technologies that we use you do not have to have the same, or you may find other things, or you may find that you need wastewater treatment and you don't have it, it doesn't matter. But the idea is that this provides you with a reference, an example of how we do it, how we wastewater treat, how we treat the wastewater, and how we turn it into STEM education. Now you use this as an inspiration. This just show, show you how to do it. And together with you, we will consult and work with you on how to develop a program to work with the class on whatever subject you decide to work. Of course, it is very important to start with an overview of the general crisis around the world and of the program. So this is the idea. You have a lot of material here and you can study it and we will prepare more material as we proceed, translate it into Romanian and this is the inspiration for you to then do a local project. So this is what we have here uh, in the-, in just, the uh, let's, let's not do it uh, all in once. Maybe someone has some question between uh, the, the parts. Uh, and Malky, we will stop in a minute. I just want to rush to no, the- we we Okay. Okay. Uh, you have any questions uh, up to now? By all means. Uh, uh, Let's stop sharing, Malki, and we will need questions. Okay, any questions so far? Liana, Michaela, 
Gabriela, no, any questions? Don't worry, don't worry. You don't have to, uh, guys, you don't have to have questions. We, we, we will plan to do the following. We will complete this and then we want to have two things from you. First of all, we want to have a response from you. How do you think about what we are suggesting? Is it fitting and all that? That's number one. Number two, if any of you already have an idea of what is interesting for you. And then of course, if you also have questions, we would like to hear questions too. But there are two responses that we do want. Uh, number one is, uh, you know, how you feel about the overall program, about what we presented. And, and mostly number two, if you have an idea of a subject that you want to address that we can discuss. And then of course questions. So I will just continue with the flow that after you see these presentations and select the subject and with our consultation, then you plan the activity. If you go out on a tour or you do the research, some teaching that you do uh, with the class, you can do it with your own material. You can use our material translated into Romanian, or you can find other material on the internet and so forth. You, it doesn't have to be strictly the way we did it. If you want to talk about the biology of water, re, wastewater reclamation, I'm sure there's a lot of material that you can find in Romanian, maybe in French or uh, on the internet from other resources or use our resource, but you can do some basic, number one, training on the general global crisis. Number two, some basic introduction on how is wastewater doing? What happens when you use it for irrigation? When you have that, you have something as a base, and now you can do the, uh, the research. Uh, you don't want to uh, start the research uh, with, uh, with, uh, without a background. Okay, so uh, hold on a second, just. And, and then uh, after you start, uh, we, um, we will uh, uh, help you do the STEM uh, um, based on, on the topic that you have selected, whether you use pumps or equipment or measure pH or what equipment you need, we can do the details. But it is very important to quickly go into a phase where uh, you start to produce a report, an analysis uh, of the results or a table or uh, an experiment, and then start to put it in a poster. At this stage, when you are ready, when you've done something, we will now uh, make the connection with the schools in Israel uh, more intensive. We will introduce you to the teachers before, so you know them and the names and so forth. But when you start to have something in your hands, you can start to share and see what the other schools are doing and you start to communicate. Eventually, when you're done and you have a full report, you will send it over to the school in Israel. The school in Israel will send you its report in English and you can review and make comments and so forth. And then we can start the career collaboration between teachers and then with the students themselves. When the students feel that they have done some research, they know something about the water in Romania and they have something to say about it. They know something about water in Israel that they've learned and then they can start to communicate. Of course, later on, we will work with more schools in Romania and with more schools around the world. It will not be only focused on Israel. We're starting now with Israel because we have experience in Israel with many schools, but this is just the beginning. So this is the idea. And of course, when we are all done, we will produce a wonderful show of everybody and all the teaming and all the experience and the students will tell us how lovely it was and how, <laughs> what difficulties they have and all that. that. That is okay. We don't expect everything to succeed. It is obvious that we are daring here. We are doing something new. We haven't done it before. We may have some difficulties. It probably will not succeed with everybody, but that is okay. So long as we learn and we correct our mistakes and uh, teach each other from what we do, along with you, we will have people with Poland and people from India and people from America and from Albania and Greece and, you know, very broad. So we will have, uh, you know, what to learn from as a global experiment. It is very rich and enough base uh, to study. I think I will stop here. This is basically what I wanted to convey. And we've seen the outline. So you know you have this document, you have the presentation, and then we will provide you link to the, uh, to the uh, um, database where um, uh, all those presentations are there. And together with uh, Florine, who is our program coordinator, 
Thank you very much again, Florine, without you, this would have never come about, not just in Romania, everywhere in the world, because Florine wanted to do it, and he was willing to try and do everything, and came to visit us, and together, you know, we were in, in, in Romania three years ago, and we are four years ago, and we started to talk about how to do it and so forth, and eventually we got into where we are now. Of course, it will change in the future, of course, but we have a way of doing it, and we will make mistakes, but we will correct. So Florine is very important as a coordinator, and he works with Malki as a coordinator, and of course, Hen and myself, and Dvir and Adi and everybody, all of our coaches are here, and our teachers are there. So with this, I will stop now and switch uh, the uh, um, floor again to uh, Malkiel, who will uh, uh, ask uh, each and every one of you, number one, what you think about it, and do you have some ideas as to where you want to focus, uh, and uh, we will then let you go. Okay, Malkiel, floor is yours. Okay, thank you very much, Amnon. Uh, first of all, I want to emphasize that all the, the uh, all the talking won't be in WhatsApp, but but by mail, so we don't get lost in uh, too much uh, talking. Uh, thank you, of all. Um, Florine, do you want you to address the school one by one, or should I do it? Uh, let's everybody to to talk a little, to, to have some comments. My my first comments it's uh, regarding the presentation and the general uh, the general program the goal for for in my opinion the main goal for romanian schools to be participant in uh, such a program it's to learn about israeli professional professional uh, in water sector as well in water education and uh, to have lesson learned, lesson learned from your experience, because to us there are not a big, a large experience regarding the water education in schools and in civil society. This is one of the major goal, and the second one, in my opinion, it's to have an interest for the peoples, for the students, for this profession because in the university there are not students which apply to be mechanical or civil engineers or to be the next generation working in the water facilities. This will be a major issue in Romania. The utilities, they didn't have good professionals and good managers working in the utilities and the human resources is to a, a low level comparing with western countries and other countries with a large experience in the water management and i think this should be for these schools which can share their experience in this program with other schools in their city and in the same time they can learn from the edu water education from your experience, which is a new concept for us. This is my opinion now at the beginning of uh, the program. And I suppose that we can uh, prepare some action plan for each school specific to the area where they are uh, located because the water issues are different in uh, different parts of Romania, in Yash, comparing with Oradia or in Turgujiu, and they, they are in the process to this, to to work with the local stakeholders in order to identify the existing issue of the water and wastewater and environmental in in their area. And when they have a such of action plan. Uh, and they have some local partners, university, water utilities, and some other organizations to uh, focusing on the water aspects, that will be easy for them to understand the technical process, the concept, and other major issues uh, regarding the water management. 
Thank you very much. Um, so now we'll move school by school. Uh, Terry Gujao, I don't know if I pronounce it well, but uh, we'll ha be happy to hear what do you think about the program and how can it fit your uh, of uh, school for Um, I agree very much with Florian um, and this project is a very good opportunity for my students and for myself also to learn uh, more from you and to learn about uh, the water issues in our community. Uh, I saw that uh, in our region we don't have too many water issues but uh, when I uh, spoke with an with a teacher from university, he told me that uh, there are many problems here, here in Gorj uh, with water. So it is a very good opportunity to study all these problems and to um, exchange uh, our experience with your experience. And I'm sure we'll uh, learn a lot from you. And it you know that there is a lot of computers involved in management of water, so your area of expertise yes. is very relevant. <laughs> yes, for sure. Thank you very much. Um, there is another uh, Radu, right? Did I pronounce it well, the name? What do you think about what we talked about till now? I'm on the square break. Um, Bun colabora cu, we collaborate uh, with uh, colleagues of the with our college. And, uh, uh, okay, and thank you. Uh, next school, uh, Oradeo. This is the right uh, city. Yes. Can you hear me? Can, yes, we can hear you. Please tell us what yes. you thought about all the program and do so, you have uh, anything similar the in your school? Or? The presentations, yeah, the presentations that you have made are absolutely impressive and uh, sometimes it feels like you're talking about a different, uh, a different world in which uh, water issues are taken into account to such minute detail that uh, it's inconceivable for us here. Um, I'm an English teacher and Liana is a biology teacher and we work in the same school and we uh, discuss with a class of students that we both teach and they are 16, 17. I have introduced the students uh, throughout uh, the time that I have spent teaching them to different uh, environmental issues. Water shortage was one of them, but we just uh, shortly touched upon the subject because we covered as much, we, I, I tried to raise as much awareness, environmental awareness as possible. So I think this program will give us a welcome opportunity to, um, to enlarge, to in deepen our awareness of uh, the importance of water and the importance of understanding that we do have the means to, uh, to make a difference for, for the generations to come. So the first step that we took practically, I studied some of the material that you sent uh, to us via email and we discussed them with the students uh, look what the people, what other uh, schools in Israel are doing and what are we doing about this issue? Well, not much really, we just touch upon uh, theoretical issues and nothing practical. So together with Liana, we decided and we kind of organized a trip. So we wanted to kick off the project with a trip to the Water Museum in Cluj, which is 150 kilometers from Oradea and have a guided tour there with explanations from the curators of the museum. And then um, our plan was to stop on the way because uh, uh, the route takes us uh, alongside uh, hydro centrals, um, so stations where water uh, 
is turned into electrical power. So this was the first step. And then uh, the next step, we were thinking of involving the students in our high school together with the students uh, Emilia has from university in some research work. So a kind of research project and then to organize a school presentation of their findings. So they would deliver a talk. So this is basically what uh, we have in mind or we had in mind before this uh, get together, but uh, we will definitely meet and decide upon uh, the steps, the exact steps that we are going to take from now on. Okay, thank you very uh, much. Thank you very Amen. much. Uh, I, I, this was lovely. I, uh, Maggie, let me just for a minute uh, respond. I think it was a lovely comment. Uh, first of all, I'm very glad that you had a concept in mind. This is beautiful. Now we can change it or work together, but the fact that you are active and have a plan, this is number one, it is excellent. Number two, the fact that uh, English is very important because you have the presentation, you can translate them. So either way, you have the basis of looking at what we do and translating uh, is very important. The last thing I yeah, want to mention- one, 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 Yes, just one thing. So the students are fluent in English, all of them. So that's also uh, an asset. Okay, excellent, excellent. But remember, I'm sure that not all the students are fluent. And so uh, maybe in other schools. And so therefore translating it into Romanian would turn out to be an asset for the entire country. So, and it's yeah. a good exercise. But you don't have to do it, it's just an idea. Uh, but no, with no, your no, excellent no. Uh, control of English, it's, you know, it's uh, nice. And the last thing I want to mention is that, yes, doing a review and some interview and then producing a report of the overall thing is excellent. This is the best approach because then you get the overview. But I would also recommend that you have at least one or two small STEM experiments so that you will have value in physics or in biology or in chemistry, some experiment that relates to the curricula so that the teachers benefit not only from the broader view of water and collaboration management, thinking big, collaborating with schools around the world. This is all lovely, very important. But the school master, the school principal, and the parents of the students want to also see that the students know mathematics, physics, chemistry. So you want Absolutely, to do something yeah. that relates to the curricula. So keep that in mind uh, in terms of the activity. Okay, Malki, please, back to you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, if any one of, uh, of the other teachers in the same school have something to add, so I'll be happy to hear. But uh, I think it was uh, very thorough. And the next school is Rodau, right? Rodau. Oradea, they have been. No, no, that we, we were Oradea. They have been Oradea now. Yash is the next one. Yeah. Euro Ed, Euro Ed from Yash. Andrea, would you like to say something or would you like me to say something? You can first start and then I can. Okay. Add if, uh, if something. Point of view, we fully agree with what Florin said uh, in connection to creating a professional approach to the study of water. Uh, which means uh, we here, except uh, the Israeli team and Florin, uh, the rest of us are teachers teaching different subject areas and we are not experts in the management of water, definitely. Uh, so from this point of view, uh, from uh, um, the perspective that I have about uh, the Yash school is that I would very much like to um, welcome uh, greet what uh, Amnon just said in connection to the STEM approach, to the multidisciplinary approach to the, of the project. That's why we came with uh, several uh, teachers and I think that uh, I might have had uh, two more teachers of technology and of physics uh, in the waiting room. Um, might have been one or two minutes late, but that's it. If you're late, you're not in. Um, but what we are going to do, we are definitely going to look into the uh, curricula of biology, chemistry, physics, and technology, and see where they meet somewhere. Also, uh, probably um, we shall speak directly with uh, uh, the management of the water company in our uh, region uh, and uh, find out about uh, uh, issues that uh, uh, and how they are addressed in our region. Definitely, we cannot talk about desalinization. We can 
cannot, we may be can talk about uh, recycling and waste water. Uh, we'll find out how these are managed and we shall see how these uh, mirror back into the um, curricula of all these subject areas. And definitely we are going to um, see together after this meeting uh, in the uh, near future, what kind of project our students uh, can, uh, uh, can uh, do and uh, uh, present in uh, nationally or into the international uh, twinning moment. Thank you very much. Uh, Andrea probably will say something about how to liaise this project with other projects that we are running at this moment. Uh, yes, yes, thank you, Anka. Um, I just uh, having, well, first of all, congratulations for the, for the project. Very interesting presentation and the information you, you delivered to us. Um, it, it looks like you did a great job and we are looking forward to explore everything. Um, yes, in terms of projects, we had a previous project with uh, the, the water treatment from, uh, from Yash, located in Yash, and uh, we had an uh, activity there for uh, a visit with our student and they understood the process and um, whatever it was, uh, was explained in terms of uh, water treatment. Um, I think they can support us with, the, with the, this project also, so we are going to, to get in contact and to maybe to have a, a study to check what is the situation of the, the water in, in Yash, so this action can be covered by, by us. Also, we can discuss with the university, uh, maybe they can support us and they have some information in, in this. Um, in uh, what the, the teachers from our school can do, I think that uh, we need to have a, a team from different uh, subjects, from different school subjects. We are going to explore first the materials you were going to provide because I think it's important, um, at least for EuroEd, it is important to understand how much is uh, technical content and how much is pedagogical pedagogical content so it's it's important things to to be very clear for uh, for our teachers uh, we are going to take the the table with the the school subjects and the the different topics for each school subject we are going to discuss with our teachers and based on their interest we will see what uh, lesson plans as florine mentioned we we can develop and i'm sure that interesting ideas will will come up and um, i don't know i think it will be important for us to know if we should have a specific schedule something we are going to have meetings per month or how you how you plan to put us in contact with, uh, with other schools, how we are going to, to collaborate, just to know how to organize our, ourselves. This, this is my question. If, uh, uh, Gabriela, would you like to add something as biology teacher? Uh, gentlemen, I, I have to uh, uh, make a comment here because we're running out of time. I think that the point you mentioned uh, relative to helping you uh, make a plan, we will certainly do that. And one clue on that is that when you make this plan, we usually conclude it on one page where we actually make the plan in writing. Then when you run it in the year, it may change, but at least you have a basis that you can share with us and with the utility and so forth. So making a plan is one of the first phases, is very important, and Florin will be able to help you. Uh, listen, guys, I think this was excellent. And we all have uh, no, this for the question uh, of Andrea. Do you want to answer her? Okay. Uh, I'm not. Yeah, Andrea asked if uh, we have a schedule. It will be a monthly uh, thing. Oh, or... the meeting. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say in the concluding remarks. Yeah, we. I think that we should have at least a monthly meeting. We can meet with the uh, specifically with. Uh, any of you uh, if needed, but basically I think we will have a meeting once a month and so we will be able to paste the whole thing, uh, but we will coordinate this with, uh, uh, with uh, Florine and Florine will serve as a, as a pivotal point for, for the matter. So uh, Florine, if uh, there's no more points and questions, I want to conclude and thank everybody. Thank Malkir for managing this, the call. Thank you teachers for joining. It is not trivial. It is by far a breakthrough. 
you can proud yourself for being the first and we will remember this conversation it will be remembered for years so thank you very much and good night thank you for thank your you. words and uh, keep in touch and maybe with the Romanian teachers we'll prepare and we'll have in the next week uh, a Romanian teachers uh, meeting to clarify, to have some comments, and if it's required, we send to you uh, clarification or request or means. comments Very or comments uh, which are collective for all the, all the schools. Very good. Very good. Have Thank a nice evening much. and take care. Take care. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Be Bye. healthy and safe. Good evening. Bye. Bye.